Welcome to our Jenkins tutorial. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when working with Jenkins pipelines. Our viewer wants to know how to ignore failures in a pipeline build step using declarative pipeline syntax, similar to what was possible with the Jenkins build flow plugin. Let's dive into this challenge and explore how we can achieve this functionality in a more modern way. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy, just like me, and work through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. To ignore a failure in a Jenkins declarative pipeline, we can use the catch error step. This allows us to continue the pipeline execution even if a specific step fails. Next, we will wrap the build step inside the catch error block. This way, if the build fails, it won't stop the entire pipeline. In this example, if the system check flow build fails, the pipeline will continue executing subsequent stages without failing the entire build. Finally, you can add additional logic to handle the outcome of the build step, such as notifying stakeholders or logging the failure. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. In a declarative Jenkins pipeline, you can ignore failures in a build step by using the return status option. For example, in the deploy test stage, you can stop Tomcat 9 with a back command that returns a status code. This allows you to handle the return status yourself or simply ignore it. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To ignore failures in a Jenkins pipeline, you can use a try-catch block. This allows you to attempt to build a job and catch any errors without stopping the pipeline. In this example, the pipeline first tries to build the system check flow job. If it fails, the error is caught and the pipeline continues to build job two. Let's now look at another user suggested answer. For a detailed discussion on how to to ignore to ignore failures in a Jenkins pipeline build step, check out the blog post linked in the description. Let's now look at another user suggested answer. In this Jenkins pipeline example, we learn how to ignore failures in a build step. The script uses the build command with propagate set to false, allowing us to capture the result of a downstream job. If the job result is not successful, we use catch error to set the stage result to unstable. This is necessary because the error block 
is required for catch error to function properly. The author notes that a more elegant solution would be possible if the stage result variable were globally accessible, but this workaround effectively achieves the desired outcome. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To ignore failures in a Jenkins pipeline build step, you can place your script inside a post step. This is useful for teardown actions that should always run. And that's it, guys. We've worked through, gone through your question, hopefully found that solution you're looking for. If we did, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, you need technical help. I hope you have a good one. Cheers.